The next thing we're going to do is edit the hair color of our picture. So make sure that you have your picture open. And the first thing we want to do is to create a new layer that is specifically for the hair. So if you remember from pre the previous lesson in the layers panel, you can click add new layer. And I'm going to give this the name hair. Now, on the hair layer, the first thing we want to do is to select the model's hair. Now, to do this, we use this lasso tool right here. So if you remember, we use the marquee tool for the eyes, and we're going to use the lasso tool for the hair. And what you're going to do, and actually, let me start, start right here. You're just going to click and drag. very carefully to get the hair. Now the lasso tool is pretty smart. It recognizes you know differences in color. So it can tell, you know what, hey, I'm I'm working with this this model's hair and I see that that contrast between her skin and that white background. So if you remember I said it was a really good idea to get a white background, that's because when we select the hair, it'll be a lot easier if the hair color contrasts nicely with the background. If you're doing somebody with really light hair, it might be okay to have a darker background. So it doesn't have to be perfect, but I definitely wanna take a few minutes to do this correctly. So I'm going to finish this up and while I'm doing it, I want you to follow along and also select the hair on the picture that you're editing with the lasso tool. All right, I have finished selecting my hair. If at any point you mess up and you need to come back in here and choose that edit, deselect all, you can and then you can just start it again. Um, I'm, I'm good with mine, so I'm going to leave this selected. And the next thing we're going to do, similar to the eyes, is we're going to pick a color. So she's already got a reddish tint to her hair. I think I'm going to kind of elaborate on that a little bit. So we'll just start with this color. You can do whatever color you want. And then using that brush tool, and I'll do the 200 here, we're going to just come in and literally color inside our lasso tool. So because we lassoed it, you can't color outside the line. So that's a good thing. And when you did the lasso around the face and particularly the hairline at the, the forehead, uh, just be really careful how you select that. You want to make sure that it looks as realistic as possible. So you want to not go too far back over the hairline, but you also don't want to come too far down on the forehead. And it's always a little tricky to work around ears. I did the best I could here but you may have been able to do a little bit better. So I'm gonna finish coloring in my model's hair and I want you to do the same. If you wanna use a bold, fun color, that's totally cool. If you wanna make it look really realistic, that's awesome too. All right, there she is, she's got red hair. <laughs> I'm kidding, we gotta fix that. So one of the first things we have to do is to change our mode. So right now it's on normal and we're going to change it like we did the eyes to overlay. Okay, so we see it starts to look a little bit more normal. So let's also change the opacity here. So from about, you know, oh, see, it's definitely a much more realistic color as I come closer down to about 40, 50. So we'll leave it. I mean, I kind of like the bright red, but we'll make it look more realistic and do it. We'll do it about 40. The next thing you want to do is the same thing we did with the eyes. You want to come over here and under curves where it says presets, you want to decrease contrast. And then you can kind of play with it to see not a whole lot of change. So that's good. She's okay. And now we want to use, well, let's first deselect all. And now we want to use the eraser tool to kind of come in and fine tune it around the face. So let me zoom in and I actually tell you what, I may want to add some color here. Let me use the brush. Slightly come in here and get those baby hairs. Make sure that you get as much as you can off her face so that it looks more realistic. So it looks pretty good. All right, 
And down here at the bottom, it looks like I need to add just a little bit where the marquee tool missed it. So just take a few minutes and again, just be as detailed as you can.